Look out, son! Mom? Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, I can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. A peeping Tom. Ah, Dad. Try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Another day in Hill Valley. The perfect place to live. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's... problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? What are you getting at? Jeez, I'm not gonna rat my own mom, even if she is a... Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out, what do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. 
Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. No way. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure, not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. It's about Mom. How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... In my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You, you're not going to let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's got to be a good thing. Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion. What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Hmm. Something on your mind? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your Mathemagic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Hey, I hear you got hit with some more demerits, Nathan. Good on you, I say. Sure. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. 
And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further o- Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Good morning, Mrs. Brown. Please address me as Mrs. Citizen Brown. Mom? Uh, Mom, are you, a uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that Dad mentioned- Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine? No. Lorraine, I'm just... Yes! Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me! Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere? Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, Drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown.
Okay, okay. Welcome to Soupmo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh, mostly. See ya. Smell you later. Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! <laughs> Ah, go get him, McFly! He's gotta be hiding in here somewhere. I bet you're under here. Not a sign of him. Better blue. Now we're in business. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einy. Look, Einy, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? Oh, oh, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? <laughs> Einstein, wait! No! No! Oh, rabies! Rabies, help! Back! Down! Sit! Play dead! Officer Parker! Subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! 
Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of Statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beasts. Don't worry, Einie. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. I'll stay out of trouble, unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. What is it now? You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player? What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? <laughs> Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. McFly, that was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. Mm. 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 Oh. Oh. Hooliganism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. 
Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. McFly! Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Geez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it, young Mr. McFly? Is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character cool? I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody-two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. 